Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will go over a basic overview of the address format for Polkadot and Kusama accounts. First, just to make sure that we are all on the same page, let's take a look at a couple of comparisons. It is likely that most of you are familiar with the most common web extension for Ethereum, Metamask. Well, for Substrate accounts, we will instead use Polkadot.js. Likewise, if you have used the Etherscan Block Explorer before, we can instead use Subscan. On the Ethereum blockchain, you have one address for your account generated from your public-private key pair. Because of this, the main thing which confuses people about Substrate, Polkadot or Kusama accounts, is that multiple addresses can be derived from the same public-private key pair. The same public-private key pair can be used to derive addresses for multiple blockchains. For example, we can obtain an address for Polkadot, Kusama, Karura, Moonriver, and more from the same key pair. So now let's take a look at how to set up an account using the Polkadot.js extension and take a hands-on look at what we just spoke about. So the first thing we need to do is head over to polkadot.js.org and press on the extension button. This will take us to the web page where we can choose to either download for Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. In my case, I'm using the Brave browser, so I'm gonna press download for Chrome and then press add to Brave and add the extension. And then we can see the extension has now been added and I will press on the jigsaw piece and pin it to my web browser. So let's go ahead and press on the polka dot icon in the top right, press understood, and then let's create our first account by pressing the plus icon. Now, this mnemonic seed phrase, make sure you write this down on a piece of paper. It is best practice to keep it on a piece of paper and not copy it onto your computer. So I have saved my mnemonic seed. Let's give the account a name, in this case, test account, and let's add the password. Now our account has been created, as we can see here. So now what we can do is we can head over to the apps button and this will open the polkadot.js.org app. Let's allow access to our extension. What this will do is it will add our account to this app right here. You can see the test account from the extension has been added to the app. Now we can head back to the extension to see the address format change as we discussed earlier. So let's change to the Kusama relay chain. You can see it's now flagged for Kusama and the displayed address has changed. Again, let's change to Polkadot relay chain. You can see the displayed address has changed again and the account is now flagged as being Polkadot. There may be a time where you want to find the displayed address for a particular parachain and it does not appear here when you press on the triple dots. So let's go through two ways on how to solve this. The first way is click in the top left. And then for example, let's click on Karura and then press switch and that will switch us to the Karura parachain. Let's wait for it to load. Now, if we press on the settings on the right hand side and then press metadata, you can see we can press update metadata and then yes, do this update. And what that does is it updates our extension and allows us to select Karura so that we can see the displayed address for the Karura parachain. Now, there is another way of finding out the displayed address for particular parachains. What you can do is head over to this website, which is linked in the description and input your account or public key here and then press transform. And then you can see your displayed address for multiple different chains. So let's scroll down until we find Karura. Here it is. 
Now let's copy that address and let's paste it into this notepad document here. And then let's go ahead and go back to our extension and display the address for Carrera again. And then we will copy that. And then let's paste it here. And you can see that the address is the same. So the website I just showed you works exactly the same as changing it in the extension does. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this information useful and would consider subscribing to our channel. See you next time.